Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm actually going to be talking about graphite and graphite drawing, which isn't really a topic that I've covered in any of my videos before. Supplies are always an important topic, so I came up with a list of about five extra supplies that might be helpful for you to add to your current graphite set. Um, and these supplies are either going to help make your drawing process a little bit easier, or they're gonna help improve the quality of your artwork. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm gonna talk about five graphite drawing supplies to add to your collection. As an artist, you might have at some point been gifted or purchased your own graphite drawing set. It's great to have a graphite set like this or to have some of these supplies already, but if you're looking for some new supplies to sort of add to your collection, maybe to help spice up your graphite work or make things easier for yourself, then this list of supplies will be great for you. Number one on my list are these high polymer erasers. Honestly, these erasers kind of just make life easy because as an artist, it's really annoying to end up having an eraser that looks like this after using it and then having to buy new ones. What I love about this is you can buy it in bulk on Amazon and it comes in a set of like 10 erasers for something like six to seven dollars. These erasers are like long and the material is soft so it's not going to leave a bunch of marks on your paper. Also they don't leave a ton of like debris behind or little eraser shavings on your paper either. They last you a long time and they're really good at picking up graphite or even sometimes charcoal and the quality of the eraser is really good so I highly recommend these. The second supply on this list is actually another eraser and a lot of artists have already talked about this one. I just think that it's a really important tool to use in your drawing, so I'm just gonna mention it anyway. And this is the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser. It's basically like a stick eraser. It's like a mechanical pencil, and the eraser goes in like this, so you can buy refills. What I love about this eraser is you can use it to pull up little highlights in your drawings, but you can also use it to erase little details or mistakes that you made without disturbing the area around it. It's really hard to go in with a big bulky eraser and not disturb um, areas around the center where you're trying to remove a small mistake. So I really do recommend this. It makes life a whole lot easier. So I'll show you what the refills look like. It comes in like a little tube, kind of looks like a test tube, but I'll ignore that. It comes in a little tube and the little erasers are in there and then you just fill it up the same way that you would fill up a mechanical pencil. So this is very convenient. Number three on my list is actually going to be these woodless graphite pencils. Sometimes they come in graphite drawing sets, other times they don't. But I'm kind of offering this as like an alternative to these graphite um, sticks, which might be a little bit intimidating to some. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I have two of these woodless um, graphite pencils. I believe the grade on these is 2B. This is what they look like. If you are doing a graphite background or something that's gonna be a large area, it's gonna take you a while to shade in, I really recommend using the side of these pencils because since it's woodless, you can actually use the side and you can can just like cover large areas quickly. If you're careful, you won't get any harsh lines. I think it's even easier to not get harsh lines compared to just normal graphite pencils. They pretty much do the same thing as like a graphite block or stick would do, but you don't actually get the graphite on your hands because it does have like the casing on it, like it is a pencil. So you don't get any graphite on your hands and you also don't really have to worry about sharpening them like you do a normal graphite pencil since it's woodless. So if you do find yourself frustrated with shading large areas, I would recommend this. I'm sure you can buy them in different grades besides just 2B, but I only personally have the 2B grade. Number four on my list is actually this Kimberly 9XXB pencil and this pencil is honestly great for anybody who has trouble getting dark values in their graphite work even if you have um, a range all the way up to like a 7 or 8B pencil you might find that you're not getting t um, tones or values dark enough. There are a few different things that you can do for this. You can use like a charcoal or carbon pencil to get those darker values, but I know that not everybody likes 
mimics the texture or the mess of using charcoal or carbon pencils. Technically, I believe this pencil does have like a mix of either charcoal or carbon in it, but it is also graphite. So you get that smooth effect and it goes really nicely with the graphite pencils that you already have. It's basically just a much darker value that will really help you get that contrast that you need because I find that sometimes when I work in graphite, I lack in contrast. And if that's also how you feel, then I really recommend this. This is a drawing, I actually already have a video on it up on my channel, but it's an eye drawing that I did using graphite. And I did use this Kimberly 9XXB pencil to get the shadows in. It really does look like very dark, and when I tilt the paper too, you can see a little bit of a wax bloom, but it's not as huge of a buildup as you can sometimes get with like a lower grade graphite pencil. So I'm like thoroughly impressed with this pencil, and I really love it, and I'd recommend it to anybody who wants to add more contrast in their graphite work. The fifth and final supply I'm going to recommend in this video is actually another thing that a lot of artists have talked about, but I'll talk about it anyway just because I also think it's important. And that supply is actually going to be a white gel pen. When I first started with white gel pens, I think I would just buy like a pack of these jelly roll pens and these are like fairly cheap and you can find them a lot of places I believe. But I recently actually did upgrade to this jelly pen. It's a Uniball Signo pen or Signo Uniball, I don't know. But it's just a white gel pen and it looks like this. And I think it is a little bit higher quality than the jelly roll pens because I find that it's not as hard for me to get the gel like to flow when I'm using it. But honestly, if it's more convenient for you, just buy these jelly pens because they still will give you the same effect. What you can use these for are highlights and I'm talking about like very, very bright reflective highlights. When you have a really small highlight, like a glistening in the eye or something like that, it's hard to preserve that highlight when you're working. So it's much easier to go in later with the white gel pen and just sort of add it and kind of just creates a little bit more life in your work. This is actually a charcoal drawing that I did, so it's not a graphite drawing, but I did use the white gel pen in the eyes to kind of create that light and reflection. I also used a gel pen to get these very bright highlights to make the snake scales look shiny in this colored pencil drawing I did over the summer. And then I will show you this eye drawing again because I actually used this not only to create a few highlights in the iris, but also to create some highlights down here in the waterline. So if you're drawing water or something Thing like liquid, this can also really help you to get that extra shine or glimmer to it. Those are the five extra supplies I would recommend adding to your graphite collection. I hope that this video was a bit helpful for you, or even if you've heard of some of these before, maybe you did learn something new. But anyway, that's all I have for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be coming out with another graphite video, hopefully by this week or next week as well. And I will list the supplies that I've talked about in this video in my description to make it easier for you to find them if you do want to like look into them or if you're interested in any of them. But anyway guys, thanks again so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.